Thank you very much again to our IFPRI speakers, Marie, Jeff, James, and Danielle, for presenting their research program. We have two discussants with us then today, and our first one is Ira Tenas. She is agriculture economist with the Food and Agriculture Global Practice at the World Bank Group, and we invite Ira to give her perspectives. Thank you very much. Um, well, thank you. I'm here to present some points of a 2017 uh, report, Food Systems for an Urbanizing World, that was um, led by a cross-organizational team in the Agriculture Global Practice and FAO, including uh, James Teft, who's here with us, um, Marketa Janasova, Ramzi Atajao, Anjali Morgan, and notably not me. Um, but I'll do my best, even though I was not part of uh, the team. So food systems have uh, historically been addressed at national and provincial levels, and they have not figured um, prominently among the priorities addressed by municipalities and metropolitan districts. Uh, this is starting to change. Interest in urban food systems and the increasing engagement of uh, cities in food issues are growing rapidly, due in large part to the admission of the significant role cities play in the urban food production and consumption paradigm. This report complements a growing body of international experience. It, um, it has identified three overlapping and rapidly evolving segments or channels of the food system. A modern channel, um, characterized by modernized wholesale and food safety systems, capital-intensive food processing, integrated cold chains and food service firms, state-of-the-art logistics, private branding, labeling and packaging, and modern retail and restaurants. An informal channel that caters to the urban poor through the use of informal food vendors and restaurants and a variety of formal and informal safety nets, and a traditional system featuring urban wholesale markets, open retail markets, and small independent family-run retail stores. All three um, subsystems are served by the same three different sources. Um, rural farms, urban and peri-urban produce, and trade. Uh, now, for a long time, we have looked at the food systems uh, for producing sufficient quantity of food. Um, we're coming to realize four things, uh, that food systems are one of the largest providers for employment, um, for people in self and wage employment in both uh, off-farm and off-farm that we want food systems to produce um, food efficiently, minimizing negative environmental impacts and conserving scarce natural resources, that we want safe, diverse, and nutritious food with minimal food loss and waste, and we want affordable food that is accessible, um, since, in fact, according to FAO's Food Insecurity Experience Scale Survey, 50% of urban populations in the least developed countries are food insecure, compared with 43% in rural areas. These are the R, A, and S uh, outcomes in the transform conceptual framework put forward by this report. Four interlinked goalposts for food systems to achieve. They are conditioned, however, by an enabling environment that includes transformative institutions, to lead the process, particularly um, because food issues have been addressed as agriculture ministries and focused on rural production issues, uh, facilitating and progressive policies, open data, um, knowledge and evidence base, resources for effective public and private financing, multi-stakeholder governance mechanisms and capacity. So this is the TFORM of the Transform um, Conceptual Framework. Now, um, when it comes to um, considering entry points, when and how cities start to engage, uh, in interventions are very diverse, um, as evidenced by this table. Different types of cities, small, secondary, mega cities will have different needs and opportunities and present different entry points. For instance, in Bolivia, it's about uh, resilience. In Liberia, it is a food loss and waste story. Uh, While well, in Southeast Asia, um, the approach taken is more of a more from a food safety, health, uh, nutrition angle. Um, so, at this early stage um, in the development of urban uh, food programs, it will be important to maintain a certain degree of flexibility when responding to uh, potential requests for support and assistance. 
Emerging World Bank Group uh, engagement um, in urban food systems includes some investment project financing in Liberia, focusing on food loss and waste and jobs, um, and the state of Maharashtra in India, aiming to expand access to organized markets for producers and enterprises, and some um, more analytical work, um, both companions to this report, but also separate work in uh, Bolivia and Asia. And um, with this, I, I thank you very much for your, for your attention. <laughs>